Reagan, Reagan just talked to me an hour ago and she's like, you're stressed today. I was like, mm. she was, she had this like look on her face. I was like, Ooh, she's been busy today. She had that determined look. I know. I, I love my job, but let me tell you all that sometimes it's really nice to turn that off and come here. <laughs> so, um, we, okay. We have an awesome call tonight. Uh, are you recording Reagan? Yep. Okay. Oh, I can't share my screen. Oh, hold on. That's I. We're going to start with a video. Okay. Okay. You can now. Thank you. Um, can I go? Okay, here we go. Um, we're going to watch this video. Can you guys see it? Yep. yep. Make sure. Yep. Sound Make hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, you know, I think everybody ought to know how to make popcorn from scratch, right? Don't go to the store and buy those packages. They're full of chemicals and all kinds of stuff you don't really want to be eating. So I'm going to show you today how to use some non-GMO popcorn, some, you know, really good butter, salt, and that's pretty much all you need, a little bit of oil. Uh, and that's non-GMO as well. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. All right, guys, so we're going to get right into our recipe. Here's what I'm using. I'm using Arrowhead Mills Organic Popcorn. This is non-GMO, and I got it at Whole Foods Market. So we're going to use that. I also have over here my canola oil, which is non-GMO. It's actually processed and made in Canada. And so, yeah, it's non-GMO. So I'm going to be using about a quarter, a nice full quarter cup of the popcorn kernels. Now, what we want to do is place our oil. I'm going to turn my flame on my pan. By the way, the pan I have here is a six-quart stainless steel pan. I like to have a lot of room so that I can shake my popcorn. And you need to have a nice, tight-fitting lid. A lot of people have a glass lid, which is nice because then you can see what's going on. But I don't, so we'll use our ears instead. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our oil, and I'm going to pour in about two tablespoons, maybe just a smidgen over. I want it to color the bottom of the pan, but you don't want to have too much oil in here to make it too greasy. I've got my temperature on medium-low heat. I'm going to take, you know, three kernels, pop them into the pan, and cover it, because we don't want it popping all over the place. Okay, and we're going to wait for that to pop. Now shake it a little bit. It's going to take about, I don't know, a minute or so before that actually pops. In the meantime, I've got my butter over here, and I am going to cut off about, oh, I like lots of butter, but about two tablespoons. I'm going to place it in my uh, Pyrex measuring cup here, pop it in the microwave until it melts. So back to our popcorn kernels, the four in the pot here. We just want to shake it until they pop. And then once they're popped, we're going to pour in the rest of our popcorn, put the lid on it, and we'll start shaking the pot again. Once you get to a point where there's, you know, one to two seconds between any popping sounds, then you know it's almost pretty much done. So go ahead and stop and turn off the heat and leave the lid on for about a minute so that any extra popping that occurs isn't going to jump out of the pan. Now you can drizzle. Okay, guys. So. <laughs> I raised it like like this, their faces are so funny. <laughs> okay, so the reason I showed you a video on how to make popcorn is not because I think you don't know how. I love Rock and Robin though; she's cute. I, she's kind of one of our tribe. Um, but the reason I showed you that is what we're going to talk about tonight is we're gonna we're really going to talk about reaching out. But the best place for me to start is with the metaphor that is making popcorn, and when we when we build and create teams and we pour into people, it is just like making that popcorn. So um, let me ask you kind of a rhetorical question. You know, did she ever turn the heat off? Anybody, did she ever turn the heat off or turn it down? Okay. Well, I don't think we know. So here's the deal. But she turned it up. She turned it up. When you do your juice plus business, when you do a lot of different things in life, this is a principle that's applicable to so much of life. Um, you start 
with your foundation, which, you know, you got to have your stainless steel pot. Everybody has one, some hot oil. Okay. So you know what? All of us are like the stainless steel pot, right? You do not need to have any special talent <laughs> or any special intelligence to do this. You just have to have above average ambition. Okay. You got to want the popcorn. Now we're going to put in the oil and the oil is kind of like um, kind of our virtual franchise model, right? It's our juice plus it's, it's our, it's laying the groundwork, right? Okay. We, cause we're, we're not throwing those kernels in there without any oil. What would we be throwing the kernels in? Now we're going to throw those few kernels in and wait for them to pop. Here's the secret. How many people quit before those first couple of kernels pop or they pop them and they forget and they walk away. And they turn off the oven and they never pour in the rest of those kernels and make the pot. The other principle that you want to think about with this is you have to keep the heat on this thing. And we're learning this so much in A team, but you've got to keep adding people to the pipeline. You've got to keep talking to people. Somebody tells you no, um, you know, someone, someone, I don't know, like, it doesn't go well with a team member because they have stuff in life that happens. You keep going. You don't ever turn that heat off. You dump those kernels in and you let those kernels pop and you work them while they pop. And then you shake that thing and you put some butter on it. <laughs> and <laughs> so I love the popcorn principle for anything that we're doing because um, if you turn that heat off, you're not going to have what you want in the end, which is a nice big bowl of popcorn. And here's the thing. How does the timing on that work? Anybody have like an absolute on how the timing's going to work? No, this is life folks. You don't get to control the timing. <laughs> you don't get to control what other people do, but you do get to control the amount of heat that and attention that you keep on making your popcorn. So I started with that tonight because we're going to have such a fun call and we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about wins and wows in reaching out. And I hope everybody took time to just think of like a story or two. And I will wrap up with how I met Izzy because Izzy was a great reach out, but um, I want us to go around and share stories. They could be last week and they could be four years ago, five years ago of how you reached out to someone and how that really turned into an amazing win, an amazing wow in your journey with Juice Plus. So who would like to go first? Sherry. I'll go first. Okay. I can tell. <laughs> Sherry. Um, so, you know, I'm loving this A team. Okay. And with the challenge last week of doubling and my focus was presentations um, and just in the action and this is what I'm so excited to share just as we action and our mind is set in that fashion things start to come in so today I got a text from somebody that I probably talked to five years ago and you know we, we kind of know each other and she decided she was going to do, I can't even remember what the name of that other stuff was. It was like three letters and it was this big diet thing, H something, something. H anyway, H so H she was doing that. Well, I get this text from her today that says, good people, good product. I, I want what you have. So I, I think just with that mindset of really focusing stronger on our business and reaching out to people that sometimes it's not even those people that we're reaching out to at that moment, but others start coming in too. So that was a, that was a really big thing for me today. And I've also, um, I have a couple other people that I've been dripping on for a couple of years that are now ready. So it's exciting. Awesome. That's Thanks awesome Sherry for sharing. Yay. That's so fun. Okay. Okay. Who wants to go next? I'm going to call on Karen because she's just had so much popcorn pop in. I know she has a good story up her sleeve. I don't know. I can't think of 
on right now, but. Oh, we can't well, hear you. Oh, sorry. We can hear you, just talk louder. Can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah. So this last week, I have had a family member that I've been working on for five years, eight years, long time, kind of dribbling, it's like, no, no, no. I like, you know, I'm into this and I'm into that. And it was like, so solid nose, nose, nose. And then all of a sudden I sent um, Dr. Me to raise uh, immunity in the modern world. And he got, ex and he replied and he said he'd watch it. And I was like, wow. So next thing I know, we're doing a Zoom with Carol Christensen, a three-way. And he's like, okay. And my sister-in-law was like, okay. And I was like, I just about fell off my chair. I never, ever expected him to eventually say yes. And it sounds like my sister-in-law wants him to give it a try first. And then once she sees how he does and he ordered the um, trio and maybe then later he'll order the quad and he was also interested in the shakes. Awesome. And I, th I thought how interesting someone that I had pretty much given up on in my team Z, I had given him a number one <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's a customer. And I've had that happen twice in the last um, couple of months, people that I've been working with, you know, kind of just dribbling on for a long time. And between A Team and Team Z, I never gave up on them completely. And all of a sudden they're customers. And this month I've signed up three different customers and that's a record for me. So I was excited. That's awesome, Karen. I think when you're NMD, half your sales coordinators will all be people that were a one in your team Z. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, who wants to go next? Missy, okay. This isn't about a um, partner. This is about, and it just happened. That's why I was late getting on that I have a former student who has a very serious cancer and she's really young, has a couple of kids. Her brother I also had as a student. <clears throat> um, we talked, it's been six months now and you know, they were doing other things and I knew when talking to her that she was not certain about doing anything that wasn't under the guideline of what they wanted to do, which was, um, I, they just had this, certain things. Anyway, he called, <clears throat> he sent me a text this morning and said, or yesterday he said, I'm gonna call you tomorrow and get Juice Plus. And even though it's, you know, it took a long time and it's, I'm just really excited because I had kind of thought, well, I don't know that this is gonna happen, even though we know how good it is for people, but he's gonna get her started and she's having some difficulties with swallowing, but we're gonna do some work with that, so. Anyway, that's my excitement today is that <clears throat> I'd kind of given up, but they haven't. So that's good. That's great, Missy. You and those capsules up and put them in a complete shake for her. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of doing. Okay. I might call I you. Know. When she swallows, if you have her tuck her chin, it opens it up. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but I learned that from a chemo nurse. Okay. I will mention that to them. Yes. And Mitzi, as an oncology nurse, I completely, yeah, tucking your chin and just going really slow with really small bites or sips will really benefit. Okay, good. That's what I was, good. Thank you. I forgot we have an oncology nurse. I'll see how good. The universe is great, isn't it? That is good. Our team is amazing. No, that's a great, you know what? That's a great win this week, Missy. And what I know has been like a really tough week for you personally. Yeah. So I just have to give you kudos for kind of, um, you know, moving forward and, uh, y y you know, yeah, never give up on people. Right. So you don't have to spend all your time on them, but never give up on them for sure. So who wants to go next? Hey, it's Tracy. I'm going to tag off of that is the never give up on people thing. Um, I feel like I've had a lot of experiences with that this year especially during my first team, um, A-team um, event where um, 
I just started asking the question again to the people that I've known for a really long time, who I feel like have probably been just kind of hanging on the sidelines watching and maybe the timing wasn't right before, but we're talking, I mean, 10 years ago, 13 years ago. Um, and, and I, after a while, I have to say, it was like, gosh, do I even say anything? You know, I don't know. Just you get weird about it. You just get so in your head about it. So I finally just, I don't know, the opportunity arose and it was about children and it was about, I don't know, just things have changed in their life. And they're like, okay, let's, we want to sign up, you know, like after we were talking about it and I, I almost fell over, like whoever, who, Karen said that I almost fall off my chair too. Um, but just don't give up. So great. Yeah. That's lot, so great. Really good. And so, yeah, they, they love it. Then they're, they're stoked on their juice plus love it. I'm like, these are the customers that are never a hash mark. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like it is like, it is like serendipitous. So, I mean, I have to share, Missy, after what you shared, I, I told Reagan this week or two ago, I had a friend come back who like 14 years ago, bought Juice Plus from me to support me and then put it for sale on eBay. And so mm -hmm. I got a call from corporate saying, would you please ask your friend to take her Juice Plus off eBay? Like awkwardest moment ever. <laughs> Things were really different back then. <laughs> and and so it was like, hey, so I guess you don't like your juice plus, but could you take it off eBay? <laughs> anyway, um, she reached out to me and said, send me your website. Uh, I just found that I have breast cancer. I have the same breast cancer my mom had. I'm starting chemo and I'm just, I'm glad I'm still here. You know, it's like, there's those proverbs about being like that tree planted by a river. And I just feel like that's who we are for so many people. And I feel like there's so much uncertainty about our health going forward with COVID and vaccines and everything that's happening. Like, let's be that. So that being said, who has another great reach out story? I have one, Ellen. Awesome, Sue. I have many, but I'll stick with just one. <laughs> this one was, well, I do. This one was a woman that I knew from the, through the gym. She was a fellow instructor. We'd been fitness instructors together for years and years. This is over at Palm Creek at the senior center. She teaches like a low impact class. And I've been doing my yoga there for 10 years. So we would have a booth in the area in the room afterwards and like once a month. And so she would be next to me with her, all of her information for her low impact. And I would be at a separate booth next to her with all my information about yoga. And I've, she's been a member of chamber. I've known her, like I said, for years and years. And every time I spoke to her about juice plus in the past, she would just poo poo me. I don't need that. I don't need that. I eat well, and I couldn't, she's, I don't know the correct terminology, OCD. I'm not sure what the terminology is, but she just didn't ever want to have a part of it. Well, her husband went through kidney failure and then ultimately surgery, and she was a match for him. So she gave him one of her kidneys. Wow. So he, he was recovering at home and she was also recovering. And I didn't see her for a period of time. And then I saw her, hey, and then I saw her, excuse me, at, um, sorry, buddy, I can't find that. So I saw her back at the booth and I offered her some of our chews and I said, fruits and vegetables. I'm sure your, your nephrologist has ad advocated that you should eat more. And she said, yes, they have. They've said that we need to. And I said, well, you know, you and I have known each other for a long time. You've looked at my research. You've looked at my product. Here's the chews. Why don't you give them a try? So she did take them home and she tried them. She called me up the next day and she says, I don't know why I've waited eight years to finally order Juice Plus from you, but she did. So she's gone ahead and ordered it for she and her husband. They are steady eddies on it. They absolutely love it. Their health has improved so much. And she said, I, it's like a miracle. And I said, well, it's fruits and vegetables. I guess we could say that's a miracle, but if it's getting you healthier and helping you to move forward with recovering, 
then that is a beautiful thing. So she now refers people to me as well. Now she doesn't, I've talked to her about being around, oh, I'm too busy to do that, but I want to take everything until whenever, and I'm happy to refer people to you. So that was my big, awesome. my big win. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, Izzy, do you have one? I know you have many. Get you to unmute yourself. Okay, I'm unmuted now. Well, I have to excuse me, I'm having my dinner and there are dogs and they might start barking. <laughs> uh, one of my favorites is um, a gal I went to church with uh, and I still go and I still uh, see her all the time. She had so many, I talked to her about just, but she had so many food allergies. She was really afraid, really, really afraid to try anything that, that she might have, you know, have a reaction. And I try to explain how food allergies kind of work in most of the time in the saliva glands and she could eat these caps, swallow these capsules and be fine. Well, she ordered the shakes and uh, she had just gotten started on the shakes when she, um, she had a medical problem. She had a hernia and she was bleeding internally, but she didn't know that. But I saw her at church at Bible study. And she looked like gray, gray on a Sunday. And the next day, her husband took her to the hospital and she needed like six pints of blood to recover. And her, because she, her body wasn't making uh, enough iron. So the doctor asked her what she was taking. She said, uh, well, I have this. She goes, he read, he knew about the shakes, complete shake. And he said, yes, that's a good thing. Keep taking those. So she did, and she recovered. She never had the surgery, so she still has to be very careful. But then she she came, I'm getting, it's getting long, but I'm telling you, eventually she got on all of the capsules. She got the quad. Oh, here goes the dog. He saw a neighbor. Captain, go lay down. <laughs> so, um, sorry. Um, because she trusted me. By that time, she trusted me that she could swallow these capsules with all these things that she's supposedly allergic to. And she's been on it for two and a half years now. She's never looked better. She's never sick. Her hair is glossy and beautiful. She's much younger than me, but you know, we're still up there. And yeah, she's one of my very favorite customers and she's just full of life and vivacious. And it was wonderful, just wonderful. Awesome. Okay, that's awesome. One more. Okay, I have one if somebody, does anybody else have one? I um, have one. Go ahead. Go ahead, Joel. So hold on. I'm also having dinner, but I can pause. Um, my story is actually about my cousin, Beth, who's on the, on the call tonight. And I'm so glad you're here. And um, Beth, uh, I actually have her tell the story, but my, I'm going to do a short, quick version is Beth um, got on the product as a customer. I think, let me, I think I'm getting this right. She got on the product as a customer and she um, became a raving fan, but and this was during when, uh, during her pregnancy with her first child, Aaron. And then fast forward, you know, um, money or for whatever reason got off the product and then had her second son who had major health problems early, early in life. And I didn't know how wishy-washy she was taking or not taking her product. Um, it's not that we lost touch, but it's one of those things we didn't talk about maybe. Um, and uh, when, when I read her posts on Facebook about her second son, Thomas, and I saw an NMD speech that was literally saying what Beth was going through, I said, I cannot not talk to Beth about this and get her on board. And I think, I don't quite remember at the time when you, she came on board as a, a, like as a distributor. I don't remember exactly when that happened because I'm a little brain fog right now. But, and I showed, I remember going to Beth's house and I said, we cannot leave here today, like Noah and I, without you watching this NMD speech. And we sat there and we watched it together and we cried. And Beth said, she at that moment, she knew she had to um, not only get back on the product, that was the pause, but, but share it. Um, and so she has a way better story, a version of this, um, I feel like, but I'm just really glad that you're on the call and, and that she's sticking through it. And she's had a really rough year and she's still on board. Thanks guys. 
and good way to go, Beth, getting on the call tonight. Thank you. I miss you guys. I this, this brightens my so it's a bright spot in my week. So <clears throat> I'm very grateful for you. Izzy, did I ever make you cry when I reached out to you? Because these are like, the, did I ever make you cry when I reached out to you? Like what? Like what do you mean? <laughs> Beth and Jill like had this big cry and it was so awesome. Mm. So the deal with that was <laughs> that. I'm trying to think how many years ago this was. I was probably pregnant with Rory. So yeah, well, actually it was before you were pregnant. I mean, you, you might've been pregnant, but you were already, you weren't showing. 13 years ago in church, Izzy and I would sit next to each other because we were like the single ladies there, right? Church lady. Church ladies. <laughs> and so, you know, I was trying to do the reach out thing like Todd Falcone is teaching us. And I was telling everybody. So I, I think I said something to her before church and, oh, you know, a fruits and vegetables in a capsule. And it was like in one ear, out the other. And then I, I tried to do that a few more times and it was like in one out ear, out the other. And I was finally like, she does not want to hear about this. So then I get a call from her one day and she's literally like the church lady to me, right? <laughs> we don't hang out outside church. She's like, well, I have all these problems with my feet. And you think your stupid little pills would help with it. <laughs> did not say stupid. I did. And I promise I didn't. You did. And, and I was like, so then I'm like, well, okay, I guess we'll try. So I go, okay, this is back when the red and the green bottles were a 30 day supply each. I took her a red and a green. And I was like, I'm just going to give them to her, which is like a no, no. But I was like, well, I sit next to her in church. I'm just going to give them to her. So I give them to her and I said something about, oh, Thank you God. know, your, your little daughter could get it for free on our children health study. And, um, and then the thing is, is that was crazy that I didn't think was going to happen was like, it helped her so much with her health. So she's calling me and she's like, this is great. And I, I want to get it free for my, for my little granddaughter. And, oh, I, and then she says to me, how am I ever going to retire? I said, well, you want to make some extra money? <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it's true. the whole thing. It's true. It's true. And is, and such a, a tremendous blessing in my life because she's one of the great, just one of the great friends of my life and oh, great women in my life. So. Thank you. Um, she just says you know, that because I give her motherly advice because the motherly advice, I'm always nagging her like a mother. And I call her mom. So, <laughs> um, you know, and I, I just, I, I just go, well, I go back to like, I was just kind of doing, you know, I was just putting the kernels in the hot oil back then. Right. And it didn't really seem like anything was happening, but you look forward later and it's like, this is amazing. I'm so thankful. Thankful you're here. Okay, Reagan, share yours. Well, mine's, mine's really quick. I had a, this is like, oh gosh, maybe 15 years ago, I went to conference and I came home and it was one of those things where I was really tired from conference. I hadn't even brushed my teeth. The dog needed a walk. I hadn't even brushed my hair and I took a walk and I ran into this guy that puts on all of the, uh, tournaments at the time for the international golf club. And, uh, he has this little trailer out in the middle off the golf course. Of course, I was walking on the golf course. Like I'm not supposed to, but they don't. Care. Anyway, he goes, Hey, how are you Come in and talk to me? I'm like, Oh my God, I haven't brushed my teeth. And he, I said, Oh, I'm just really excited. I kind of told him what I learned. And he said, Oh, that's just snake oil. And kind of gave me a bad time. I go, well, if you ever think you need it, just let me know. And gosh, it wasn't like three months later, I'm at Costco and I get this frantic call from this guy saying, where are you? I need to come get your juice plus right now. I go, wait a minute. What, what, what's going on? He said, I just got diagnosed with cancer. I'm coming to your house. I go, I'm not home, but I'll be there. And so he came over. Well, he didn't lose any of his hair during chemo and his doctors kept saying, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Cause he was always on track for another treatment way sooner. And, um, today I got a call from him saying, where's my juice plus? I'm like, he's still on juice plus with me. Of course I had to guilt him into it a couple of times along the way. And um, I go, what do you mean, where's your juice plus? Well, he had given me an address and moved, but he never moved into that house and moved, he moved somewhere else. So he had never told me. 
So we had to fix that. But I was like, wow, isn't that a blessing that he's still like, where is my Jew? I can't live without my Jews plus. And it's like, because he really understood that I went, gosh, from really somebody that could almost have derailed my career, like telling me it was snake oil because I was so a little worried about what people thought to, oh my gosh, here he is 15 years later going, oh my gosh, where is it? So pretty cool. I love that because, you know, back when the eBay thing happened with my friend, that was pretty rough. <clears throat> yeah. And so we go through things like that. And that's part of this is we sort of have to overcome the fact that other people might be really ignorant about what we're doing. And I don't mean ignorant in a way that's demeaning. People just don't know what they don't know. Um, and as our, as we come more, become more specialized in our society, which is kind of part of where we are right now, people don't know more about one thing and they know a lot about another thing. And, uh, you know, think of like someone like Dr. Rachel Van Pelt, who's on our team and how much she knows about aging and nutrition. But, you know, maybe if I asked her about geology, she would ask, well, what is geology? And I'd say, well, it's the study of rocks. Didn't you know that? So people don't know what they don't know. And our job is to really like approach them with grace and help them, uh, you know, be open and kind of be soft so that they were approachable and they can learn and they can join us at their own pace. Yeah. And, and back to the popcorn analogy. I mean, you, you get things sometimes where you think the popcorn's done popping and right when you're about ready to pour it in the bowl, all of a sudden you get this pop, 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 pop again, you know? And so sometimes there's people like that, that you, you know, thank God I threw through his kernel in the, in the pan. Right. And maybe he needed to sift down to the bottom. Life had to happen to him for that to happen. But if I hadn't thrown him in the pan, it would have never popped. Right. So sand your ground. I mean, and that's the other thing is if somebody poo poos you or whatever, for you just to say, gosh, I'm sorry, you feel that way. But if you ever need to hear about it, I'm going to be here, you know, for people to have that confidence that you know they can lean into you is really important that you're not getting wishy-washy just because somebody's giving you a bad time you know because it's, it's not about you it's like we know what we got whether people want to listen or not well stand your absolutely ground. pop later right absolutely what an amazing call yeah by the way i want to say we want to wish patty well She's had a little derailment of her health, but she's going to be back at it tomorrow. So, um, and Bobby too, he's a great support system. And I know it's just a tough time right now. So we love you, Patty Benson. Yeah, we love you guys so much and miss you. Thank you. I love you too. And I appreciate love you, Patty. Thank you. Love you, Patty. Love you guys. Thank you. Love you. You have the best smile, yeah, Bobby. I love you. <laughs> and I love you too, honey. Love you guys. Hang in there and get yourself home tomorrow. I hope so. That would be nice. I'd rather be home than here, but it's not bad. I have a private room and the nice, the nurses are nice. They kind of leave me alone because I don't need much and I'm not really on any kind of medication. I'm just kind of hanging out. What do you call that? Convalescing. That's what it is. Yeah. Or if, if, you don't, if you don't know, I, some of you may not know, I'm dealing with bladder cancer, kidney cancer. And so blockage and um, where my bladder is and so I wasn't able to um, drain the urine and so I uh, my kidney levels went sky high and so I had to come in for a procedure that they uh, they put ports in my left kidney so that the urine would drain from there so anyway so while I was on the call my oncologist called can you believe it nine o'clock at night he calls you know on me to find out how I'm doing so that was really nice of him but so hopefully we'll, we'll be get on. praying for you. Thank we'll you. be praying for you, Patty. Thank you. Yep. Lots of prayers. Yeah. Thanks. You're anyway, amazing. Love, thank you. Love you guys. Air so hugs. Patty, you, you. Go, go pop yourself into health and uh, the oh. rest of you guys go throw some popcorn in the pan and see what happens this week, okay? I, I got to show you what Bobby brought me there today. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Yay. Oh. I, I, forgot to, I forgot to pack. So I said, could you, could you bring me some soft cheese? So he brought me a bunch of these. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's awesome. Great. All right. Thanks. Great call. Great call. Thanks, Ellen. Good night. Good night. Everybody. Good night. 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 Good night.